I watch the swans feeding, digging in the lake floor, and I watch them die. It's pretty straightforward to me. You know, I'm, I'm sick of picking up dead swans year after year. These swans are dying right in front of our eyes. I mean, it's something we can't help but get involved. Our mandate has been to make the public aware of what's actually happening here. You know what? They say 1,500 swans have died. Many swans die out of the way places. They're never found. They're eaten by eagles and vultures and whatever else that leave no trace. We can't just sit back and watch it and continue without saying something. A new development tonight in an ongoing environmental tragedy we've been following for some time for the past seven years. Trumpeter swans that live on a Fraser Valley lake have been dying a slow, agonizing death from lead poisoning. The lake is near Abbotsford and straddles the 49th parallel. For decades, American duck hunters have been firing lead shot over Judson Lake, and environmental groups say the lead kills the swans when they ingest it as they're feeding. But wildlife officials aren't convinced that Judson Lake is the source of the lead. And so a new campaign has begun to find out one way or another. There's been as many as about upward over 500 at one time on the lake. It can be, can be as much as 800 swans will roost in the, in the night time. Well, when we moved on to the farm in 2000, we saw it firsthand, saw some of the dead swans. And the Canadian Wildlife Service would come out and pick, collect the dead swans and take them back to necropsy them and study them. And that year, um, I got in, into the canoe and I went around and I took pictures of all the dead swans that I could find. I think it was 13 on the Canadian side that I found. And, um, and I just remember at the time thinking, this is just an atrocity. I mean, this is, this is terrible. And they, at that time, we didn't really even know why they were dying. And, um, <clears throat> and then we contacted the Canadian Wildlife Service and they told us it was lead poisoning. You can imagine like one shot from a shotgun will, will blast several hundred little pellets into the lake and the lake's not that big. So over the decades, there'd be thousands and thousands of pellets blasted into there. And it only takes one pellet to kill a swan. And if you ever have the unfortunate opportunity to touch a swan, because they will be dead if you do, they are um, a downy, beautiful downy feather. I mean, it's just amazing how oh, beautiful yeah. these swans are. And they sound, when they come in, it'll be so loud. You know, we all come out at about 4.30 in the afternoon, we'll just watch them come in by the, by the dozens. It's just an absolutely magnificent sight. And they bring peace. That's the thing about them is they're the most peaceful. Like you just sit and you just, it just does such good things for your soul. It's just the most amazing experience. In this particular lake probably, well last year there was 400 dead swans. That they found. That they found. That's right, <laughs> we find carcasses over there, you know, animals take them off and so they're, they're not counted or the eagles get to them and, and uh, they get lead poisoned too. How many are sick that with sublethal amounts they're not going to reproduce ever again? You know, what kind of impact is that? Like it's having a way bigger impact than what they're letting people know. But what happens is um, they get picked up before they actually die usually and um, so they'll be sick for maybe a week and what happens is they just never leave the site, never leave the lake and they'll be on the shoreline or whatever. And it's very sad because uh, trumpeter swans uh, mate for life and so they have their mate and their mate's swimming around waiting for the swan to come, you know, and they they're sick, they can't, they can't go. So it's a very uh, disheartening situation to watch. It's a long, painful, painful death.
makes me mad at the U.S. and Canadian wildlife services. I, as far as I'm concerned, they're responsible for these swans dying because they issued the hunting licenses that let the hunters blast the lead into this lake and they know the lead's in there. They've, they're the ones that publish the studies that say there's 95 pellets per cubic meter, you know. Because we as humanity have done this to these swans, I totally think it's our responsibility to correct our mistake. And this has been a mistake of ours. So the public needs to step up to the plate. We've gotten involved and it. The passion has been growing. We've been more and more committed to it. We just feel that it's, uh, we can't just sit back and watch it continue. <laughs>